Ten days after the Minister for Education and Sports, Janet Museveni, visited Mandela National Stadium Nambole, our team has returned to the iconic stadium. The reason was to ascertain further details for public consumption about progress at this stadium that is being renovated by the Uganda People's Defense Forces Engineering Brigade at a cost of 97 billion Uganda shillings. Now, when this news came up that we had to take on Nambole, and, uh, and uh, following the directive by His Excellency, and already what had had on press, the doubters, saying UPDF has, has no capacity, it way we can't do it. One, I had to say that this is the time now to prove our worth. It was the time for us to come and show Uganda that we can do this. And we can do this without foreign, foreign aid or foreign labor expatriates. So immediately the news broke out. We prepared ourselves. The commander, Afande Bekunda Besije, instructed us to come and do the best. And they told us that one, the fight all along, all the complaint is about shoddy work, that it is about inflated rates, it is about delays in the river of a project. So he just told us, go and deliver this project. Ensure it is delivered on time and it is of quality. Work started in February 2022 with the task of securing land from encroachers and first a delay seeking a consultant ultimately zeroing on a local one to promote Buy Uganda, Build Uganda. Minister for Defense and Veteran Affairs and then the State Minister for Minister of Education and the Sports then the State Minister for Minister of Works and Transport sat down and resolved. They said, let us procure our own consultant from Minister of Works for those who handle public, public utilities now and the structures. So they appointed the Minister of Works to work as a consultant. And there and then they straight away kicked on with the consultants, uh, providing us drawings. So the delay took around four months. So when you add the four months to the other, and that, those are already 10 months we are here. Now, when we started the work, from there up to now, we have never stopped. So approximately we have taken so far 17 months here, 17. Now, on record, I want this noted to fellow Ugandans that world over, even if you moved around, you find that the full renovation of a stadium takes a minimum of three, three years. But for us on record, we are going to take less than two and a half years to deliver this, this structure. Despite the magnificent work compared to what this stadium looked like a few years ago, there have been numerous challenges. The encroachers, when we were constructing the perimeter wall, people were encroached on the land. So we had the first of all to evict them. Then another challenge we met here mainly is um, the vandalism, safety. Then another challenge, I think, which has been uh, some delays. Delays came uh, as one, the lead time of importation. You know, most of the materials come from abroad. Like now, floodlights, which are delaying. If they were to be manufactured here, we would just go to the shop and buy. And we have also some challenges of the salvaged materials. Down there, we removed all. Oh, this was total overhaul. We did total over the stadium, implying there were all the pipes, all the iron sheets, all, all these materials have been heaped here and they have not yet been disposed of. They pose a security threat in that while these other snakes can grow there and they might bite people with the time, we realized that when that stadium, that stadium requires a lot of water for watering. So what UPDF did through our leadership, they, they advised me to sink a borehole, and we sank a borehole which has, is very rich, which is very rich in water. And it is the water we are, reaching, we are using to water the pitch. So there, there we have reduced on the cost of water. They will only be just paying maybe for power to pump the water here. Our visit happened just days after Confederation of African Football Inspectors tour of the stadium ahead of Uganda's World Cup qualifier against Botswana in June. We were told that the visiting CAF delegation was impressed by works at the stadium and advised a few adjustments, especially the media tribunal. The media tribunal, as I was told you, according to the CAF inspector who came here recently, he advised that media tribunal, the press, whatever, they must be on the same side with the mixed zone. So, so now, the arrangement or the design, as it is now, the tribunal is this side, the mixed zone the other side. So. We needed to do some breaking here and there to ensure that they're on the same side. But uh, as of now, and what we have agreed is that to, we need to bring to buy a, a, 
a lift and we need to change it now to interchange. The rooms which were for press, this way should go the other side. So we do interchange and put, make sure that the tribunal and the press are on the same side. The project engineer Lieutenant Kano Sekuki Demuka also clarified on the situation of the floodlights and the athletic track that are a must for the stadium to reopen. The major work remaining here is the tartan. The tartan is of high grade because first of all, before we procured it, people had to go for pre-inspection or visit. They tested the materials, materials passed. Now this one is going to be in situ. They have already brought the materials, the granules. We have so far brought in uh, 10 trucks of granules. We are ready to start. But what is has delayed the start is because one, if before they fix floodlights, the fear is they bring a crane which might destroy a tartan. But we have revised the make worker method that the, the, the floodlights will be fixed from outside. We shall buy a bigger crane. So any time from now, as you see the preparations are going on, is the one is to put the drainage, to put the, the wires along the finishing line, to do all what is necessary, first fix works, and they are almost being done. And then we are doing the resurfacing of the dissection. Then afterwards, the, within two weeks, the, we shall cast the tartan and it will be complete. The flood lights, you can see the other top part is ready. The, the points have been fixed. Fa First fix has been done. What we are waiting for is only now to fix the floodlights. They have already been paid for. The commander engineer's brigade had to ensure that we do a reprochurement and he, he paid the 50% for them. What is remaining is if they clear the balance as quickly as possible, we shall send the balance and uh, all other. And I see I hear part of it is in transit because for those materials we import, they, you must clear 100% before they are delivered, especially floodlights. Then we have the lead display system, and then uh, the pitch also that and they brought also of what the commander managed to pay. He cleared uh, about 60% is also waiting for the balance. So floods are, floodlights are on the way, and uh, by March, early March, by tennis they will be arriving here and we shall start fixing. Fixing takes around, general fixing and testing takes a month also. So as they work, we shall be fixing. A move around the stadium showed improvements like the turnstiles that are now in place and according to the engineer, will allow more than 200 fans per minute. Whereas many doubted the Uganda People's Defense Forces Engineering Brigade, advantages of using it go beyond the beauty scene when one visits this iconic stadium. So we save one by putting low, um, low labor, low costs, and one is to avoid the middlemen who do come around and like kickbacks. So as I was earlier saying, it, the normal contractor civilian gave 430, but for us to, total was 287 billion to do all these works in phases. The first phase is 97, which we have done. We expect all other phases, like uh, the second phase will be putting a canopy and closing here maybe providing a pitch cover so that all other people also are able to use this pitch then constructing a swimming pool then the third phase will be maybe providing an indoor stadium if all goes well we pray always that uh, our our plans are in line with god's plan whereas the public appreciate the stadium's state there were questions about the shower rooms that require partitioning an area updf has promised to address after consultation with the stadium an old seat and fitted with modern technology, especially regarding ticketing, UPDF advises the public on access and maintenance. It should be noted that the Uganda People's Defense Forces Engineering Brigade is deeply involved in infrastructure development, especially in the health and education sectors.